Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the background color for your website that you are working on in the Wix website editing platform. So as you can see here we have a website or a web page where we have this black background all the way around this page and mm, my friend who I'm helping develop this website for, he wants it to be all white. So I'm going to show you how to change that on the Wix editor. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, be on the page that you want to change. And over here on the left, in the editor, when you hover over the different menu options on the far left, you get to see what they're about. The top one says background, add, where you can add different elements to your site, an app market, my uploads, and my blog. But today we're going to go with background. So click on background, and it gives you three basic options here. Color, where you can change the color of the background. Image, which is looks like the default where you can put an image as the background or video hmm. or video um, and since we don't really want an image well I don't know this this banana one's pretty tempting the cool thing about the Wix uh, menu here is that if you hover over each of these options, it gives you a preview of what it would look like if it were applied to your site. So some of these are animated backgrounds. Now keep in mind that if you add an animated background, that does take more memory for your viewers or the people who will be going to your website. If they have really slow connections, some of these animations might not load as fast. And just a static image like this enticing banana here is going to take a lot less memory and be easier for your users to load. But since this website doesn't really have anything to do with bananas, we're going to go over to color. Okay, so here in the color picker, it gives you just a few basic colors to choose from. Black, red, yellow, blue, and purple. But that's really not a whole lot of color options. So if you want, say, green, for example, which we don't see here, click on Add Color. And then here you have a color picker. And for right now, we're going to stay with the hex option. You can go with an RGB color, but I like hex because when you pick a color, it gives you a six-character number that basically represents that color. And so if you ever want to replicate that color someplace else on your website, you just copy this code that represents the color, and you can duplicate that exact color anywhere you want. So let's say we want to go with some kind of green, because that's one of the favorite colors for this website. And the way you change the color is just by clicking on this slider and going through the rainbow. And we're going to land on green. And then you can determine how much tint and hue you want to be in the color by where in this little rectangle you click. So let's do a bright green just for demonstration's sake. We pick this one and here's the code for it, 2A9633. We'll click Add. And it automatically puts it into the background and it adds this color to my colors. It doesn't add it at the beginning, but right after black and white, because everybody uses black and white, it adds it right here. And here are a couple of other colors that I've picked out earlier. So here you have your new green, and when you hover over it, you can see your hex code right here. So if you ever need to duplicate that color someplace else, like say maybe you want some text that's that same green color, you just make a note of this hex code and you can replicate it anywhere on your site. Okay, so although this looks pretty good with green, 
the client wants white so we're going to click on white and we'll exit out of the color picker and we've already made our selection so ah here's a key feature apply to other pages so in order to create kind of a uniform look and feel for your website you probably want to have similar backgrounds on all of your pages. So we're going to click on apply to other pages. And here it lets you pick and choose which other pages you want to apply to. And so here are all the different pages we have for this particular website. And in our case we want to apply them to all but see you could only apply them to some. If the box is checked then that means it's going to apply to that page. So we've clicked apply to all pages. We'll exit out by clicking this little X. We'll exit out of this one since we've already made our choice. We'll click save to save all of our changes. We'll ignore this little pop-up and we'll click preview to see what it looks like. Alright, for those of you who are very observant, you may have noticed that since the text for the this menu here up at the top, the text was white before, when we change our background to white, well, oh, we kind of lost some visibility on this text. So in the next video, I will show you how to change the color of these menu items here at the top so that we can see them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found that helpful. If you like this video, please click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.